United Launch Alliance launch conductor Scott Barney recommending a scrub for today. This mission to Mars will have to wait a little longer to begin. After a morning riddled with problems, NASA's unmanned Orion was never able to launch from Cape Canaveral Thursday as planned. The morning's problems ran the gamut from weather to technical difficulties and even human intervention. That delay coming at dawn when a boat strayed into the launch zone. We are no-go at this time due to a fouled range, which indicates that there is some obstruction within the uh, eastern range. New launch times were then set for 7.17 a.m. and 7.55 a.m., but both times computers automatically stopped the countdown with less than four minutes to go because of strong winds. Then, with just minutes to go before an 8.26 launch time, it was put on hold again after NASA said a fuel and drain valve did not close. The left and center, or core, boosters, uh, the LOX, or liquid oxygen, Fill and drain valves did not show closed when they were commanded to close, and since then the team has been troubleshooting. They have had a team go in to see what is going on with this, if they can open it and close it, see if they can fix it. Engineers scrambled to get the valves working before Thursday's launch window closed, but to no avail. Whenever it does launch, Orion carries with it a lot of firsts, the biggest being mankind's possible pathway to Mars. From the human standpoint, today is like day one. This is, um, I would describe it as the beginning of the, of, the, of the Mars era. Sort of a continuation of what, what NASA's been doing for uh, a little bit more than 40 years now in terms of Mars. You know, Mars has always been humanity's ultimate destination. Uh, that's where even the science fiction writers wanted to go. And Crews won't actually climb on board before 2021. NASA hopes to use the capsule to fly astronauts first to an asteroid with an ultimate destination of Mars by the 2030s.